Steed and Aloha Meatheads. Hey, we got a special episode coming for you. A pair of raisins brought to you by the Death Clan, or more properly, the Death 2 Clan. Death is expanding. It's now headed up by the one and only Tank Eating Tiger himself. And I figured I'd give him a bit of the old corporate sponsorship from Meat Locker Industries and promote his clan on the channel with these two raisins to show a little bit of what these guys can pull off. And I know a lot of the people in Death 2 are wonderful. So, hey, Discord is required. You can jump on Discord and find him or find him in-game and send him a message. They have a no-drama policy. They're just looking for mature players who can get along. And if you know the Meat Locker Discord channel or this YouTube channel, you'll probably fit right in and understand the style. They're looking to do some tournaments and just have some nice, you know, conversations, voice chat. And they have 280-something people in the Death Discord. So you can jump on board, hang out with a good crew. And I forgot to mention they also are nearly to supply level 10 already for full benefits and as they're a smaller clan there's a bit more uh, interaction and opportunity to improve and get trained by the man himself so sign up and contact information is listed below in the description last thing in keeping with the corporate sponsorship we're going to have a commercial actually for the first time and now the safety message from our sponsors you are cooking yeah you Pork chop sandwiches! Oh shit! Get the fuck out of here! What are you doing? Go! Get the fuck out of here, you stupid idiot! Fuck, we're all dead! Get the fuck out! My god, did that smell good! You detect it! This is no going, and you tell me do things! I done running! G.I. Joe! Alright, this is a Death 2 platoon with Tyler328, part of the clan as well. You've seen him very often on the channel with Tank Eating Tiger. And here he is to put his contribution in with Jarizel as we head off for the Raisin. Carizzle's heading up top to uh, get a convenient sniping vantage point. Team's spreading out a bit too much for my liking, but... Go away, boy, you bother me. I got work to do. And maybe not being all that considerate of each other, but they're gathering together, basically going southeast, so that's working out okay. This is a good sniping bush, and as a tip, the one on the other side has the best camo value in the whole game. If you ever use that one to shoot into cap, the one on the left side there, to his left. Now he's weighing up, does the team, are they able to get this um, Action X out here? Well, he doesn't have time to wait because we have 3v2 over here, so he's going to put his gun to work. Helsing's taking some punishment. Enemy Helsing's gonna move in to try to finish him off. He's very aware of that. Still takes a look to his right. And now he's engaged. Still nothing going on to the right. It's gonna help this Helsing out. Yeah. Okay, where best imply himself now? He's got a look. He sees there still are two over here. Greens are dying. He's equalizing that. Getting a couple of tough Russian heavies out of the game. Nice work. Oh, this one guy here doesn't look like he's gonna last very long. But right, he's heading in to take care of him. Change of plan. M41 is gonna present himself here. That was a good one. Yeah, I beat you on that one, man. Nice ammo selection. Looks goes for the HE. Puts him down in one shot. Then out goes the Action X, which I find to be one of the toughest tanks to face. If that guy goes hull down. The speed of his gun will keep you tracked in place. Ugh. 
just switches the angle there. Nothing zero yet. Now he's got to decide what to do. It's 2v2. He's still full health, looking good. But look how fast this game went. It's not, not even three minutes in. Very quick. He's got to take advantage of the fact that uh, this guy has no gun depression or not enough to ISU at all. Now, watch this next part carefully. We're going to review. So, not only does the Panther back up and get flat and low enough to get his shot off, but right when Jarizel is moving in to shoot the ISU, the Panther just moves forward, bam, deflects that shot. Man, that sucks. But these unexpected things are what make the game a lot of fun and an extra challenge. So back into it, he's focused, he's locked on clearing these two guys. Camara going down. This is between me and these two bullshit guys. Trying to get the drop on the ISU. Oof. Heavy hit, gotta be careful now, he's a one shot. Savage Girl puts the Camara down. Jarizel puts the ISU down. And now it is practically a done deal. Ice in the champagne right now. Moving in hot, I'm gonna clear her. I'm only the champion. Nice work, man. Seven kills. And amazingly, surprisingly, only a first class. Wargaming, what is up with that? Um, yeah, 3.7K. Look at those credits, my goodness. But seven kills should just be default mastery. 1,270 base XP. Oh well, first class it is. Master Gunner, that's 10 penetrating hits in a row. Reaper for just getting those three quick shots to dispatch enemies, one, two, three. Nice to see, kind of a rare one, of course, the platoon doing the work. Some Raisin Dance action. Don't see that very often, the Raisin, lovely. High caliber, of course. And leading the pack with that seven kills. Don't know what happened to Tyler down there, just got wrecked. Oh, and Ghost Pepper Recon was in there too. The full smorgasbord in effect. A little bit of something for everybody on the table. Um, and congratulations on death too. So, we're gonna head on over to Tank Eating Tigers, Raisin, in the Rudy, one of my favorite Tier 7 tanks. But again, we uh, have to have another bit of corporate sponsorship, so here we go. And now, the safety message from our sponsor. And now... Mom, Dad, come here, you gotta see this. this is so cool. G.I. Joe! Tank eating tiger, platooned up with Jerizzle. You know it's gonna be trouble. With the mega, yeah, the mega, yeah, the mega powers, yeah, mega powers, yeah. So mega powers united, and tank eating tiger has taken a, a flanking position. He's making sure that those medium tanks don't come to their flank, and they're start, starting to see spots up there by the bridge area. So. A little risky coming here by yourself, but if there's one guy who can take care of himself against Seven, as he's about to prove, it is the man among squids. The tank eating tiger. So he's gonna work the flank, which is great. Um, just picking on reds. I like to do this, I like to focus on one tank as much as possible, so that only one or maybe two tanks are alerted to your presence. So if you hit three, four, five tanks, different tanks, they all are gonna look at you. If you get one, maybe two, that works well. Nice bounce. Rudy has great turret armor, great frontal armor at an angle. Um, used to be slightly overpowered in the meta, but now it's in power crept a bit, but still highly capable tank. I love it. So if you ever see it in the shop, just grab it. Wonderful uh, tier seven medium. Keeping people at bay, keeping them distracted. 
getting his shots in, but man, it is just not helping the team. And there, that, that Red Marish, who's a Texas clan, he's a very good player. I've rolled out with him a few times. He knows what he's doing, and so does his platoon mate. So competition is tough. It's just a process of wearing them all down now, just reducing hit point pool on the red side. Gotta switch to APCR to get uh, through that armor. That uh, 100M has a fantastic armor on it. Gravedigger, another armor champion. Tier 7 is quite the beast when facing Tier 7s. Not so strong with Tier 8 heavies at all. So he's got his work cut out for him. He's the, already the last person left, believe it or not. So even the mighty Jerizzle has gone down. Hey, boy! Come here! Quick! Yes. And down goes the first victim, the Cromwell. All right, he's gonna, he's gonna peek out here and take a look and see if anyone's approaching on this side. And he spots Mash up here, gets a round into him. APCR for the kill. And he's gonna get pushed by a bunch of tanks, including this ISU. Big trouble. Oh, he's getting beat up. Oh, no, man, I'm all right. They've, they've never been better yet. Nice boast. No problem. Puts the ISU down. Grave Digger's on the reload. Mm, if that were APCR, he would have penned. This guy finishing. And there you go. APCR on the lower front plate. And he's got this opportunity isolated. Yeah, I not let this opportunity slip through my fingers. Yeah. Isolated P43 anniversary put down. Between me and these two bullshit guys. SU played this wrong. Should have hugged the rock a lot more before turning. Nice. So. One down, one to go. <laughs> From a 1v6 to 1v1. Where is the 100M? Hiding, maybe trying to snipe from the bushes up there by the bridge on the hills. Come on, buddy, come out here. Let's play. So, Tet's at a disadvantage. He doesn't know the hit point pool left on this guy. Is he AFK? Where is he? Is the team being honest? Hmm, what to do next? So he goes low to get better cover. Take a peek around this rock. Oh, there he is. Now he's hiding again. Come on, buddy, come on out. Oh! Yes! <laughs> the seven kills, the raisin in the bag. With the mastery, congratulations. Load up the family into the wagon. Everyone's headed to the Golden Arches. Gotta get that legendary damage. Legendary amount of enemies destroyed, of course. And of course, the Kalabanov's actually not three, but seven kills all alone. And all the awards and banners one would expect, including... The ultra rare and ultra coveted Raisin Metal for taking all seven reds down. Well done. Texas Clan also on the red side. Well done. Bravo. See you guys in battle. Amazing work. And uh, looking at this standing, 3,000 damage. And of course, the full smorgasbord. A little bit of something for everybody on the table. All seven touched and hit. Wonderful matches, guys. Thanks so much for sending them on in. And remember, death. Two is recruiting, drop them a line. All the information is below. Take a look and give them a halt. So maybe you can join up. And of course, don't forget we have SEAL Club and Sundays every single Sunday. All information for that is also below. Come join us on Discord, hang out, wreck the noobs and get wrecked yourself. And if you have any great lane plays, mail them on in. But remember, when out in the heat, facing the noobs. Keep it salty, Pendejos. Oh yeah!